Turning on 500 watt heating lamp with a small DC generator. Welcome to my channel. This is the part list of this project. Today, I'm going to turn on a 500 watt heating bulb with a small DC generator. This generator was able to turn on the LED light in my other video, but this time, I'm going to turn on the heating lamp 500 watts. The reason I haven't turned on the heating lamp power yet is because flywheel needs to accumulate kinetic energy. The lamp cannot be turned on immediately with a small motor output, so I have to wait for enough energy to be stored in the flywheel. The lamp used here is for 220 volts, so I wait until it reaches the maximum voltage that this generator can produce. RPM is over 3200 now. Voltage and RPM are approaching peak values. In previous LED lighting tests, this generator had a maximum of 144 volts, so I will turn it on when it reaches that voltage. Let's turn it on now. It's a small motor, but the voltage and RPM drop slowly because of the kinetic energy stored in the flywheel. The heating lamp is off now, so the voltage is increasing again. This experiment shows that to turn on this lamp continuously, I need to increase the output of the motor or change the motor. This is the large DC permanent magnet motor. I'll swap this motor and the small motor. A big motor is now installed.
Motor coupling has been changed to reduce noise and vibration. Let's turn on power. The lamp power line was already connected. Because the power of this motor is sufficient, there is no need to wait for the kinetic energy to be stored in the flywheel. The output voltage is now at its maximum. Also, the motor's RPM has reached its maximum. So when the lamp turns on, the voltage drops by 14 volt and the RPM drops by 50 RPM. Let's double check them. So this is the end of the experiment, and now I am going to turn off the power. Thank you for your watching. Please like, comments, share, and subscribe.